Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I just stepped out of the shower. I'm feeling super fresh, super fresca. So what I wanted to do was film a how I prep my skin before I film video because I am going to be filming quite a bit today as well as taking some photos for my blog. So something really important to me is like protecting my skin and making sure my skin is in good shape because you don't want to be filming and your skin just looking very like not put together. I do have a zit over here, some heat rashes right now because I just stepped out of the shower, but I get a bit of uh, zits around my period, so I got like one big guy over here. He's healing really well, thank you to the ordinary. So I'm going to show you guys without further ado how I prep my skin, how I prep my hair. I'm going to blow dry my hair of course, but I'm going to do some wet hair shots as well. So I'm going to have it wet for a little bit and then I'm going to move on to blow drying it and getting ready to film for the rest of the day. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's take my glasses off because you can't really apply some good skincare. I'm gonna put some uh, Balm.com by Glossier on my lips. So as you can see, we're filming in my kitchen. <laughs> and as you can see from my setup, if I inserted the footage before, boy, I basically, I wanted to move around, but I also wanted to see where like some optimal lighting was that wasn't super strong and in your face. And I get a lot of that in my room. So I kind of wanted to film over here. And judging by how I moved around my ca uh, my camera as well as like moved a mirror behind it so I can see, the lighting's pretty good. And yeah, I wanted to take advantage of it and I'm loving it so far. So the first thing I'm gonna do is exfoliate and I always use the Glossier Exfoliating Skin Perfector. One of the most important things before I do my makeup is exfoliating my skin and making sure that I take all of the dead skin off of my face. And next, I use the Ulla Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner, which is running out. I think I say that in like all my videos that it's running out, but it is running low. So I'm gonna have to re-up soon. I think I'm gonna stay with the same toner, or I'm gonna get the other one from Ulla Henriksen, but I actually really like this one, so I may refill it. There's not really any toner right now that I see that I'm like, oh, I really need that one. I just like the way this one feels on my skin and I really feel like it does remove a lot of the oil from my face and controls it, so exactly what it says in the name. <laughs> Alright, so now that my face has been exfoliated and it has been toned, I'm going to spray a little bit of rose water from the Heritage Store. And I do this because my moisturizer from The Ordinary has hyaluronic acid in it, so I like to make sure that my face absorbs as much moisture as possible. I don't use too much because I don't want my skin to be too slippery when I apply foundation later. And then the next thing I add is some eye cream from Kiehl's. And just dab that in with my ring finger. I feel like there's a cat hair or dog hair right here. Got it, okay. That was so good. And for the first time ever, I'm gonna be trying the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I just got this and I'm really excited to give it a try because I looked at all of the ads and how everybody else's skin looked with this on and it just looked so good. So I took a few pumps and just warm it up in the back of my hand and then Spread it along my face. It has a very distinct smell. It also has like hemp in it, but my goodness. I have a very dry patch right over here from all of the acids I've been putting on my pimple there. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. and just tap that into my skin. I wanna go brush up my eyebrows, hold on. Oh my God, my skin looks amazing. I might not even put foundation on when I wear this. Holy, so good, so good. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause because I wanted to take some skin photos with the towel on. So I will be right back and then we will be going into the hair while well, my hair kind of dries a little bit in there. I'll see you guys in a bit. 
and we're back. Okay, so now that I have taken a lot of photos on my skin, I'm going to prep my hair to blow dry it. Now I never really blow dry my hair. I like to let it air dry, but because I'm going to be taking some photos, I think I might take some wet hair shot ones so that I can continue filming throughout the day and taking pictures throughout the day. But so far, I really like this primer from Milk Makeup. My skin just looks and feels so healthy. I feel like this is just gonna be like my best friend this summer. So I just brushed my hair out. Now that my hair is getting longer, I'm having a lot more fun playing around with it. So I'm going to put some of the Whey hair oil on my, throughout my hair basically. Use the tiny little volume spray from Whey. I heard from Jen Atkin herself on her account that she's going to be, Jen Atkin said that she's going to relaunch this, but she's trying to find a way to make it a better formula. I see what she means. I don't feel like this volume spray really does too, too much for me, but then again, as much volume as I can get help with, give it to me. So I'm just going to spray this around and voila, your girl is ready to film. I'll give my hair one more brush, a little bit of water. Okay. This is the final how I prep myself for filming. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair now. I won't really film that. It takes like 10 minutes roughly. But I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video that I film. Now that I look like this. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and turn on the notification bell so that you guys are updated immediately when I upload another video. Thank you and have a great week.